a suffragette's gathering. In the charming town of Harmonyville, where time itself seemed to dance to the rhythm of friendship and tradition, a group of friends gathered once more for a Thanksgiving feast. This time, their adventure would take them to the early 20th century, amidst the fervor of the suffragette movement. As the friends gathered around the table, their anticipation was tinged with the knowledge that their feast was not just a meal, it was a portal to history. The clock struck midnight, and the room was enveloped in a soft, ethereal light. And just like that, they found themselves in a different era, surrounded by the sounds of fervent voices and the sight of determined women draped in banners of hope. They had arrived in the midst of the suffragette movement, where courageous women were passionately advocating for their right to vote and striving to shatter the chains of inequality that bound them. The friends were in awe of the strength that emanated from these women, who stood with unwavering determination despite the opposition they faced. Amid the banners and picket signs, the friends were welcomed with open arms. They were embraced by women who had dedicated their lives to fighting for justice and equality. As the air hummed with anticipation, they joined the suffragettes in preparing a feast that would nourish not just their bodies, but also their spirits. As they worked side by side, chopping vegetables and arranging dishes, the friends listened to stories that painted a vivid picture of the suffragettes' journey. Tales of resilience, of standing up against injustice, and of sisterhood forged in the face of adversity filled the air. They heard about the sacrifices made, the time away from families, the struggle against societal norms, and the unyielding determination to make their voices heard. Through the suffragettes' stories, the friends learned about the power of unified voices, of standing up for what is right even when the odds seem insurmountable. They realized that the fight for justice is not a solitary journey, but a collective effort that spans generations. As the feast began, the friends sat among the suffragettes, their hearts swelling with admiration. They listened to impassioned speeches that echoed with hope and determination, speeches that resonated across time and ignited a spark within them. And as they partook in the meal, they understood that this feast was more than just a gathering of friends, it was a communion of souls determined to make a difference. The suffragettes' courage and sacrifices had paved the way for the rights they enjoyed today, and the friends felt a deep sense of gratitude for the battles fought on their behalf. As the evening drew to a close, the shimmering light enveloped them once more. They returned to their own time, but they carried with them the spirit of the suffragettes. They shared the stories they had heard, the passion they had witnessed, and the lessons they had learned. The friends realized that the suffragettes' fight for equality was not a distant tale, it was a living legacy that inspired them to stand up for justice in their own time. They carried the torch of empowerment, using their voices to speak out against inequality and injustice. As they gathered around the Thanksgiving table once more, their hearts were filled with gratitude for the rights they enjoyed and for the brave women who had paved the way. The suffragettes' gathering had reminded them that change is possible when voices unite, and that the journey towards justice is fueled by the unwavering determination of those who dare to dream of a better world.